What's up guys, Greg Newmaster here, coming at you with another action figure review. Um, I wanted to do a quick video, uh, comparison video, of the newer Star Wars Vintage Collection uh, 3.75 inch figures. Um, as many of you know, they started, uh, they started out with the Black Series. Um, in the the mid 2000s for the 3.75, and then the black series switched to six inch, um, which was really annoying and infuriating to me um, because uh, what they started doing was instead of pumping out a ton of new 3.75 uh, figures, they started just focusing on the six inch figures. And um, they would just sporadically put out new um, 3.75 figures, and then uh, and then that turned into the vintage collection. They rebranded it the vintage collection for the 3.75, and then the black series became um, the six-inch figures. But the cool thing was is that the the uh, Black Series, which is now the Vintage Collection, these figures, these 3.75 figures were amazing because they were super articulated and they were detailed. And in my opinion, Star Wars figures should be that size because if you're a, if you're a true Star Wars action figure collector, you want them to be that small, in my opinion, so you can fit them into the awesome vehicles that they have, like an X-Wing or a Millennium Falcon or the... Uh, at at or you know whatever ship you have now the reason I'm doing this video is um, I want to express my opinion on whether you should uh, buy um, these figures that are coming out because what they've been doing also is that uh, they've been re-releasing the same figures and when they started doing that in the 3.75 scale I was so annoyed because we've had We've had three new Star Wars movies, but barely any new articulated, and let me stress articulated, 3.75 figures, uh, new characters. They just keep re-releasing uh, re the old ones from the Black series. So this made me mad. But um, what I came to discover is they started updating the figures and making them so much better um, in terms of sculpt and paint. Uh, they still have the same uh, articulation, but um, they, they've been giving the figures these new photorealistic looking heads, and they are amazing. Uh, so then I, you know, I was like, all right, I'll be a sucker, and, I, and I'll buy the new figures, because they just look so good, and I want to show you guys that. So what I have here is uh, it's the Jedi Destiny 3 pack. This is my favorite Luke Skywalker action figure. Uh, Luke is my favorite character by far in Star Wars, always has been. I know most people love Han more. I love Han, but I like Luke better. I always just identified with him more. Um, so this is my favorite version of Luke. Uh, this is Return of the Jedi Luke, uh, when he is at his most badassness form. And uh, this is the Jedi 3-pack figure, like I said. Uh, so it comes with a three pack. Um, the other one is hi uh, him in a new hope uh, when he's in his X Wing fighter uniform, um, which is this guy right here. And then uh, the other one is when he's in the stormtrooper uniform. Uh, I don't have that one, I got rid of that. But anyhow, this is my favorite Luke here. And I, I just want you guys to look at that. Like, um, I wasn't going to buy it at first, but. When I saw these new head sculpts and how real it looked, I was like, I have to have that. So not only uh, does this particular Luke get a new head sculpt, but uh, they do an accurate um, robe that Luke wears in Return of the Jedi. So here, um, so I'm going to put this down for a second. So here is my old, um, this is the figure from... Um, uh, this is, uh, I think it's called, like, uh, the lightsaber building figure. So this is from that cut scene from uh, Return of the Jedi that they cut out of the film where Luke builds his lightsaber when they re-released it on the Blu-ray and they had the extra scene. And I love this, Luke, but look at the face. The face looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. But if you look at that face compared to the new 
vintage collection face, there's no comparison. Like, that face looks amazing. Just phenomenal. Um, so, just based on that head sculpt alone, compared to the old version and uh, just the cloak, um, I would... <laughs> I would say, yeah, go and buy uh, the new re-releases of the vintage figure collections because not only do they give you a new head sculpt, but they're they're doing this on the ships as well. But um, just look at the paint job. Look at the gray. Uh, look at the gray on like uh, his lapels there. I don't know what to call them. His like Jedi robes compared to uh, the older version. Uh, this version doesn't come with this belt, unfortunately. Um, but he does get this uh, blaster, and even the blaster, uh, even the blaster, look at that paint. Look at the paint detail. You got silver, you have like a rust kind of uh, copper color on the handle. Like just uh, awesome. So, uh, you know, I was very frustrated because it was like, oh, come on, man. They're not putting out new figures. They're just re-releasing the old ones. But... They're re-releasing the old ones with these amazing heads. So so look at that head compared to this head. That alone is is worth rebuying um, the new re-release figures. Um, here's another example. Like this is Luke from A New Hope uh, in his uh, pilot uniform. Uh, this is Hoff Luke. But just look at how crappy um, this head looks compared to this head, which is just photorealistic. I mean, that looks like a Hot Toys head. That's how good it looks. Um, so if you're a 3.75 collector, totally recommend it. I'll, I'll give you one more example. Uh, I just picked up this Yavin um, Ceremony Luke. And look at the head! This is the old one. Um... And here is the new one. Yeah, and, and these figures are only 12 bucks. You know, you can pick them up at Walmart, Target, uh, Amazon. They're a little bit more pricey on Amazon. They could be like 20 bucks sometimes. And, and also, you know, you got to be on it. But um, just look at the level of detail and the repaint. Uh, it's just so worth it. Uh, the only thing that is frustrating me is if, if they were going to re-release the figures... Um, they didn't change the articulation. So, for example, this figure, uh, they just use the same old body mold. So this has no ankle articulation at all, um, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, this doesn't have, like, the, uh, joints where they could do a split, like on a ball peg or, um, anything like that. So it just goes up and down like that. So, so my only complaint about the 3.75 figures... Uh, is that uh, they just need to get a little better with the articulation, then they would be perfect. So, like, if you look at his crotch, they kind of do... I don't like how they do the hip joints. So it's like a V cut. So when he kicks his leg up, it it goes up and it's kind of weird like that. Um, and a lot of them do that. Uh, he does have it on the side, so this figure could do a split. I think what they should do is uh, use the uh, G.I. Joe uh, example because the G.I. Joes are 3.75 figures and they are articulated excellently and they're very detailed. Um, let me see. Okay, so I have this Snake Eyes figure here. This is one of the best. I think this is the best G.I. Joe action figure of all time. I have to say the Snake Eyes. But, like, look at the hips there. This this is a classic G.I. Joe um, sort of uh, hip joint. But I think they should do this for the Star Wars. And look, in, in this, Snake Eyes has double jointed knees. Like, double double jointed knees. That's amazing. Uh, there's no reason Hasbro can't do that for the Star Wars figures. Um, so, these figures, to me, like, I love them. They're amazing. Uh, all the way back, you know, in the 70s and the 80s when they came out with the original figures. I've been collecting them since then. But um, they just keep getting better and better. And uh, if you're wondering, like, should I buy uh, the re-releases of the vintage collection? I would say yes. I would say yes and swap them out because uh, they only just keep improving them. 
because look at the level of detail on that face. Um, let me show you uh, one more. Uh, actually, I don't have it with me right now, but but the the detail and the paint for that alone, totally buy it. Uh, so this is Greg Newmaster signing off. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.